Hey there YouTube, and especially welcome to all of my new subscribers who have come from Pokemosh Pit Beta or anywhere else wherever you found out about me. I gained a few subscribers since I uploaded my new PMP Beta video. If you haven't checked out and you're an existing subscriber, go check it out. It's actually got a lot of likes, and um, the likes outweigh the dislikes massively, so it's all good news for me at the moment. So anyway, this is an NU game I have against someone by the name of Titanium 2121 version 2, or V2 if you want to be precise. So let's get into the battle. Um, I Toxic is Quagsire, he misses the first Toxic. Um, not the best start for him, I, that means I get a step up my rocks, hazard free. Um, but I also stay in knowing Poison on my Reggie Rock would probably be, it'd be the best thing to have Poison on. So um, Quagsire has gained some hate or leftovers from its... Uh, no, recovering some HP from its leftovers, rather. And um, this Quagsire turns out to be a pivotal point in the uh, battle at a later stage, so I will try not to ruin it too much. So in comes my uh, Staravia, my Rave. Uh, it, I made a load of gimmicky sets before this battle, pretty much all of them are via like, defensive walls with Intimidate. So I'm just trying out different versions of different Pokemon. So uh, the Staravia is kind of interesting, actually. I mean... Stravia gets access to Intimidate, while with Violite and Max Defense, it must be, well, no, it is a pretty, def well, pretty decent wall. Um, he goes for the Whirlwind, knowing Stravias are naturally pretty fast. Um, I haven't got any speed investment in this thing, though, so it doesn't really matter. Plus, I have the negative one priority Whirlwind, so I'm just going to Whirlwind out his Mesprit, and in comes his Cacturn. Now, I know his Cacturn isn't going to want to stay in, because the only attacking move I have on this Staravia is Brave Bird. Uh, I have the Roost, Whirlwind, Brave Bird, and Captivate, I think. Uh, Captivate was pretty much a filler move, but this Pokemon, especially after I set up Rocks, it would work very well with Rocks and a Spike team, because you can Whirlwind and defend physical walls all day. So I go for the Brave Bird, it was an obvious Brave Bird, and he predicts that by bringing in his Rock-type Caracosta. He goes for the Shell Smash, weirdly here, don't quite understand why, he doesn't understand why either, I guess the only reason I can think he goes for one is to hope on the Power Hacks, but in fact, um, Power Hacks doesn't uh, save him this time and uh, I get to go for the whirlwind on this turn after all the uh, boosts and items and stuff I just whirlwind him out so that's his uh, white herb gone and uh, waste of a turn so in comes his combuscan and whenever you see a combuscan you know it's a speed boost combuscan so um, I'm expecting a protect uh, I could have gone for a roost predicting that but it's not like the roost would have exactly helped. I get paralyzed anyway. He goes up to plus one speed. And um, it would be good if I got the intimidate off on this thing instead. But he goes for the blaze kick. And um, while wow, this combuscan is pretty darn good. He said this thing uh, is sashed and not a violite. And he gets a critical hit. And that kind of explains why this brave bird actually manages to kill off his combuscan. I just assumed that because it's not fully evolved you'd stick in a violite on it. So, uh, it's a double down now because thanks to the Brave Bird's recoil, I actually do enough damage to Combuscan where my Staravia is taken down. So it's good news for him that my Staravia is down, but it's also bad news that his Combuscan is down. So, um, he wasn't aware that Dugtrio had moved up to OU, even though it was quite a while ago, but I don't really mind that he used it. It didn't exactly do much this game. For some reason I'm actually... F oh no, 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 I was going to say, for some reason I'm faster, but then again I remember I have the Prankster ability. So he goes for the Hone Claws. Um, guessing he's going to go for the Stone Edge on my Volbeat, and he's finding it weird why I'm staying in. So I, I go for the Tail Glow with Prankster, and that uh, leaves me, or brings me up to plus three on the Special Attack. So um, at this point he's feeling pretty guilty, he's bought in his OU Doug Trio, but I don't really mind. Uh, he hits me with the stone and she's a bit confused as to why I've stayed in, but I am sashed. And um, I don't know what other item of all we might really have. Um, so the focus sash uh, keeps me in and he thinks I'm going to baton pass, he says go on I'll let you baton pass out. And I'll home claw so you can kill my Doug Trio, but no I don't want to. Um, People might, uh, no, people do expect Volbeat to Baton Pass out, but in fact this Volbeat is there just to hit things hard. So for some reason he brings in his Caracosta, I'm thinking he's bought it in to go for Aqua Jet. He doesn't go for the Aqua Jet, and I go for the Thunderbolt, and I'm like, man, that, that's a waste of your Caracosta, why'd you do that? So, um, yeah, he dies 
for no apparent reason. So um, then I tell him that, you know, if your Quagsire is unaware, just bring that in. I'm kind of helping him out at this point. And, um, yeah, his Quagsire is poisoned. But um, this is where um, things start to get a bit hard for me. Um, I go for the Bug Buzz, and because I haven't got my plus three, uh, it doesn't do much at all. He goes to the school. Any move would have killed me. I don't actually know if Volbeat is a flying type or not. Um, so Scald was safe. If he'd gone for a ground move and it hadn't have affected me, that'd have been quite funny. So um, Quagmire recovers from leftovers, but Toxic is uh, negating his leftovers like it does. So uh, in comes Pimp Slap, my technician, Mr. Mime, and Magical Leaf is easily going to kill Quagsire. It would probably kill without the technician boost anyway. So that is one dead Quagsire, and now it's it's looking pretty good. I think he has two Pokemon left. But this is where it starts to get pretty tricky. In comes his Cacturn, and um, I know now Cacturns are, or have access to Sucker Punch and Swords Dance. Uh, so I just stay in here, don't know why. I'm going for Charge Beam to get some special attack boost. I can't really think of anything else. Well, I could go into my Braviary, but this guy likes to substitute. If I had have gone into Braviary, it probably would have been a better bet. He goes for the Substitute. And uh, this kind of puts me in a sticky situation. He can do whatever he likes now. Uh, I'll go for another charge beam. And thanks to getting a boost last turn, I am able to uh, break his sub, even though it's not very effective and stab. And But Technician probably helped out greatly there. So um, I actually get another stat increase and now go up to plus two, while he goes to plus two sword stance. Now, if I'd have predicted him to make his next move like he does... Um, the game would have probably come out differently. Uh, I go. Well, he goes for the sucker punch as so I go for another charge beam at plus two, thinking it'll do good damage. But if I'd have gone for substitute, obviously the sucker punch wouldn't have worked, and uh, Pimp Slap might have had an easier time out against this um, Cacturn. So now this Cacturn has priority, and I have nothing on my team that has priority at all. Um, I only have. No, I have three Pokemon left. I have my Reggie Rock, my Maril and my Braviary. So I'm thinking, well, Regirock is a pretty decent defensive wall. It can take a plus two seed bomb, which in fact it actually does. So um, that was good from Regirock. I go for the Earthquake stupidly, forgetting that Grass resist ground for some reason. And even with um, with Cacturn's frailty, it still does absolutely nothing. It's, it's in the orange range now. Um, Leftovers kind of saves me from poison a bit here, so I don't actually die from it. So, um, yeah, this Cacturn is going to go for the Substitute, uh, predicting me to go for another Earthquake. If I'd have gone for Rock Slide in the first place, where it's Stab and uh, Neutral against this thing, I might have brought it down to a range where it couldn't Substitute again. So, um, I go for the Rock Slide and it hits, thank God, otherwise it would have definitely been game over then. Uh, and I would have had no chance, but um, I break through the sub, and he's got a little bit of health left, thinking he probably has enough to set up one more substitute if he wishes, but um, this turn he goes for the Sucker Punch, I could have predicted that again, honestly I expected him to go for the Seed Bomb, not quite sure he went for the Sucker Punch, but if I'd have gone for the Toxic, his Sucker Punch wouldn't have worked, and I'd have been able to get him poisoned, but I doubt I'd have enough uh, power in my Pokemon left to prevent him from attacking me anymore and to toxic stall him. So in comes Chunk version 2, even the max defense bold, no sorry, the max defense if I like Mariel cannot take a plus 2 C bomb which is sad. This thing is belly drums, aqua ring, waterfall and ice beam I believe. But um, it's just a gimmicky set that I want to try and work anyway. So I only have one Pokemon left and um, it is Braviary. Now even though I'm scarfed, obviously I can't beat priority and since he's stab plus two and cacturn is pretty god darn awesome physical attack that is going to be enough to clean sweep my um, braviary so from a good position uh, the game turned in his favor greatly and uh, it was a close 2-0 so thank you for battling me titanium 2121 v2 go check out his channel guys and as ever rate comment sub and i'll see you guys next time